friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's video is about seed germination. Germination is a process in which the seed begins to develop into a new young plant. It is a process controlled by enzymes. So in seed germination, embryo enlargement, cell division and cell differentiation occurs. First, let's discuss the parts of a seed. A seed has three main parts. Embryo, which is a miniature plant. It develops into roots and shoot. And it develops into an adult plant on seed germination. This embryo has two portions, apicotal and hypocotal. Hypocotal develops into roots and apicotal develops into stem and leaves. Then food storage tissues which in case of dicot uh, seed are cotyledons. They provide nourishment to the embryo. Nutrients are supplied by means of cotyledons to the embryo. And seed coat is the outermost tough protecting covering. It's also called as testa. It basically provides protection to the insides of a seed. So seed structure, seed consists of a seed coat which is a tough protecting covering. You can see here the external structure of a bean seed. It has a scar, you can see here the scar is called hilum. It is the point where um, seed is attached to the ovary, where it was actually attached to the ovary. And then dicot seed has two cotyledons which provides um, food for the growing embryo then you can see here the inside of a dicot seed this is an embryo embryo has two portions which is first is called apicotal the upper one and the lower one called hypocotal apicotal develops into stems and leaf whereas hypocotal develops into roots now here you can see you can do the comparison between dicot seed and a monocot seed so monocotyledonous plants has a seed with one cotyledon, that's why they are called as the monocot, and dicotyledon um, seed has two cotyledons. The difference between monocotyledon and dicotyledon is first the presence and absence of uh, uh, cotyledon, second is endosperm. In monocot seed, basically endosperms provide nutrients to the growing embryo. You can see here. This is a structure of uh, inside of a corn. So the outermost layer is seed coat. Next, inside the seed coat, there is endosperm, which surrounds the growing embryo. Cotyledon is reduced in monocotyledonous seeds. Endosperm provides nourishment for the growing embryo, and it has one cotyledon. Whereas in the dicot seed, it has two cotyledons and an embryo inside, and um, Endosperm is not present. Now, seed needs some favorable conditions for germination. Otherwise, if favorable conditions are not received by seed, then the seed will remain in the dormant state for years. So, some basic requirements of a seed germ uh, of a seed to germinate are water, which helps the seed to swell up and the embryo starts to grow. Oxygen is needed for aerobic respiration and warmth is needed because enzymes also speeds up when temperature increases. But um, temperature higher than optimum will result in denaturing of enzymes. So optimum temperature is required for seed germination as well. Um, seeds do not really need light because it has stored food in the form of cotyledons and endosperms. Um, seeds, when it develops into seedling, and when leaves emerge from that seedling, then it needs light to photosynthesize. Now there are two kinds of germination, apical germination. Apical germination is one of the kind of germination in which um, cotyledons emerge from the ground. You can see here in the picture, api means above and gel means earth. It's a Greek word. So cotyledons, they emerge out of the soil. You must have seen bean seeds germinating their cotyledons outside you must have seen um, the seed coat of the bean seeds outside so what happens seeds germinate 
radical arises, then this hypocotyl elongates. You see the hypocotyl elongates and the terminal portion of the hypocotyl, it curves inward, which it, it basically curved uh, to protect the plumule from the friction of the soil. And then these cotyledons, they turn green, they become photosynthetic and they act as the first leaves of the plant. And this uh, testa, it dries up and falls on the ground. Energy for growth is basically derived from the cotyledons. Second is hypogeal germination. Hypo means below and geal earth. So in this germination, you can see cotyledons, they remain inside the ground. They play no role in photosynthesis and basically elongation of apicotyle occurs. Apicotyle is the portion of the embryo which develops in um, stem and leaves. So it basically elongates. That's why a hypocotyle do not elongate. It remains shortened. That's why cotyledons remain inside the ground. And um, here also apicotyle terminal portion is curved. It actually protects the plumule from friction. Energy for uh, growth is derived from the endosperm in hypogeal germination. So this type of germination exists in pea, maize and coconut. Whereas uh, apigeal germination occurs in bean and castor seeds. So this was it. I hope you have learnt and uh, you have um, you ha you found this uh, video very informative. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.